All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty, where, oh god, I just slept through the night from the previous episode, and that is not a warning message I want to get when I wake up. Pay your taxes. So, okay, I assume we have to go back to Unagas for that, and oh my god, look at the beautiful world now. Oh, it's back to green, and oh, hey, taxes. Taxes are paid in coins. Every spring you will need to pay taxes to the Castellan in the central village of Gustovia. Taxes are charged for your build- Oh god, the buildings too? And fields. Oh no. If you don't pay taxes for last year, then the debt increases with interest. The following year, you will have to pay back both debt and the new tax. Current tax with the debt is visible in the management tab. Each subsequent season, you don't pay your debt. Your dynasty reputation will suffer until you exceed negative 10,000. Dang. At which point you will be exiled from the valley and your journey will end. Ah, oh, cool. Also, we're back to everything being nice, green, and, you know, lush, which looks gorgeous. But also, ha boy. Oh boy, it's going to be harder to find sticks. All right, so let's run into town and go pay our taxes. Is it actually going to tell me in here what my taxes are? Oh, 245? Oh, and I just made money after at the end of the last episode with selling those rocks. We could grab more rocks. They also sh they all should have spawned, respawned by now. It's a new season. Huh. Now nah, we'll do that later. We'll do that later. So, yeah, uh, we still need a lot more feathers to make the arrows that I need to make. We have everything we need to make the bow, I believe. So let's... After we pay our taxes and go flirt with Erica, we will, uh... Take care of the bow. Now, I am happy about the bird trap that it gave me seven feathers per go uh, last time. And I was able to collect it once more when I got back to my house at the end of the previous episode. So it seems to reset itself fairly quickly, so hopefully it won't take us too long to get to the feathers we need. Hi, Unagast! So, uh, did you come here to pay your taxes? Yes! Here you go! That should cover everything. Splendid! And dialogue. Wow, well, it was the most painless tax payment ever. Also, though, I mean... Dang, man, that was a lot of money. <laughs> Not really. We make a lot of money from, you know, the berries and also the stones. Oh, which, you know what? Oh, wait first. No, Erica's not here. Oh, she's over by the tavern. Let's swing back by Unagas, though, real quick. I did make some more stones. We're gonna just sell those to him, because, you know, money. <laughs> yes. Still need to try using those for hunting small game. Again, thank you, commenters, for telling me about that. But, for right now, cash. I'm annoyed I had to pay that much for taxes. <laughs> I want money. Attica. Oh, no, she's not over at the tavern. She's back behind it here. Hi, Erica. It's gone. You're just... Wow, walking straight... Oh, you knocked the... Oh, you knocked over that poor log. Hi, how's it going? So, hey there, beautiful lady. How's it going there? Oh, uh, we got a new... Well, no, is this new? I think we've had it before, but I didn't use it because I thought it might be a bit too forward. I admire your honesty. You're not afraid to tell others if you disapprove of their behavior. Oh! Oh, no, we haven't selected that one. On my way here, I saw a beautiful plot of flowers. Thought of you. Ooh, God, would she like that or that? I don't know. I'm gonna go with I admire your... I think this is the safer bet, but I'm intrigued what this is. I admire your honesty. Ooh, down two. Well, I can't flirt with her anymore today. <sighs> Dang it. I just want to marry you. Why? Why won't you love me? Oh, God. Oh, boy. All right. Well, let's... God, I still have all that stuff. I, I still have... I meant to look up in between the... Because, well, again, I'm literally recording this after the last episode. I meant to look up what a wind scent was. I didn't. I mean, we're gonna be nowhere near hunting one of them, but I've never heard of such an animal. Oh, also, wait for further things. Wait for next summer. Ah, uh, no, never mind. Never mind. All right. So yeah, waiting for further events from this one. Okay. So yeah, back to the house, I guess. Let's go see if my bird trap has picked up anything else. We'll also look for feathers along the way. Dropping our. Uh, magical icing ability that we have. Oh, no, those are all the broadleaf plantains. Which are another nice thing to get. 
you know, nice source of stuff. Now it's all herbs. Oh, out of stamina. Crap. <laughs> oh no, I can't see rocks through the grass anymore. Oh god. <laughs> I re oh, wait, no, no. I really wish. Oh, the berries! Oh, <gasps> the berries are back! The berries are back! They're unripe. They'll still sell for one though, though I'm curious if I if I gather all these, will they not be there next season? They'll still sell for a gold though, because nothing sells for less than a gold. So let's actually collect these real quick, because why not? There's plenty of other berry batches in the world. I'm just intrigued to see if these will grow back or not by next season and become the berries we can then eat. But yeah, let's uh, let's gather all these up. Nice, 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 nice. More cash, this should cover my tax bill for the year. Nice. That's what I like to see. If only I could pay my taxes IRL with berries. <laughs> It'd be magnificent. Oh boy, howdy, my taxes are gonna be low this year. Ha! <laughs> It'd be great, yeah, we'll harvest this whole bunch. And then, yeah, we'll take a look at this bunch next season, if I remember. <laughs> See if they're, if we can sell them, or if they'll be ripened once again. I mean, we're picking them at the beginning of the season. That means potentially they could have enough time to regrow. But I don't know. I don't know how this game's going to work it. Hi, Unagost. You know, after the whole tax thing, I just want my money back. So... Yup, one. Ooh, though, interesting. Well... I'm not remembering very well what our yields were previously. Did we get more berries last time? From a, the same similar patch? Didn't we get like 200? I mean, still, I'm going to sell all these because, you know, that's at least some of my taxes back. <laughs> nice. Between those and the rocks, that's half my tax money returned. Nice. All right, yeah, let's go build the bow at least for now, just so I can get that part of the quest done. I don't know, maybe we try and hunt a wolf with spears? I can make stone spear, or wait, can I make stone spears or did I not buy that tech yet? Oh, some people in the comments were complaining that I wasn't making stone spears. Was that a tech we had to purchase? Yeah, yeah, we can't make the stone one yet. We're way away from that. Oh boy, yeah, we are way away from getting those. Which man, really? A stone pike is going to take us that long to get to. Yeah, some of their things are really unbalanced in this game. It just doesn't make sense to me why they have them where they do. I mean, I'm still really enjoying the game. I'm having fun with it. But yeah, they really need to move some stuff around. And that is, you know, hopefully the... The scythe. The scythe. You know what? I'm already back by my house. Let's make the bow. Then we'll go back to the village. Or maybe we'll do that next episode. Get the scythe. Oh, hey, my traps. Both are and both need to be rebuilt. It's another thing with this one. This, the bird trap, you don't get as many uses out of, it seems. Yeah, I think I only got three uses out of it total. I need to find some more rocks again. I think it was five? Yeah. All right, that's three. That's St. John's Wart. God, it's so hard to find rocks this time of year. I really like winter for rock collection. <laughs> All right, let's check down by the water where it's a little bit easier to see rocks. Oh, oh, saw some. What am I up to now, rock-wise? Four. I need one more. And then I need sticks. Man, yeah, I really need to get employees. <laughs> <laughs> to take care of some of these things. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, yeah. I also do need the sticks. Let's grab those while we're here. Aw, oh, come on, rocks. Where are you? I'm almost back to the village now to buy a scythe. You know, you know what? You know, oh, God. You know, oh, God. Let's need one more rock. One more rock. I've probably walked over multiples of them by now, but I'm not seeing them because of all the things. All right, you know what, you know what, There's, I usually see some rocks around here. Let's also take these. I don't want these trees growing. They're in my property. 
Aha, rock! Okay, that's enough for that. So yeah, take down these for the sticks. Don't want you, don't want you. Also, I see a lot of rocks on my ground now. Awesome. <laughs> Why am I going there? I need to set these traps back up. There was a rock right the crap there. God. <laughs> All right, bird trap. There we go. Yeah, we only seem to get like three uses out of that, like four uses or so out of the rabbit trap. Wish I could build more of those. I think there is a there is a perk we can take for that, which man, maybe that'll be a good one to do. What is that? Nope, the wrong thing. Skills. Survival, yeah. Nope. So over oh, I was in hunting, not survival. Uh no, that's just for fishing nets. Can we not get one for other traps? Trapping I mean, I know I, I say this probably at least once every episode about something IRL that I don't understand why they don't have in this. But IRL, trapping was big. I mean, hunting. Not a lot of people did hunting back in those days because, you know, it took more expensive things to hunt. But trapping, trapping was a lot more common because it was, uh, you know, you did it and just left it. Came back next day. A lot easier, low maintenance. But yeah, no, a lot of weird stuff with how they do things in this game. Uh, they need, like, a medieval consultant or something for this game. <laughs> I doubt they did such a thing. Oh, boy. All right. Let's see. Let us make you. Yes. We're going to have a bow. I don't have any arrows, but <laughs> I'm amazed that's not a part of the quest. You'd think arrows. Probably important. Gee, I have 27. I have 27 feathers. <sighs> I'm going to go back here, though, real quick. <clears throat> so, first off, how many arrows do we get? Oh, 50 arrows. Okay, okay. Okay, so the 50 the fifty feathers actually does make sense to me now. And I, I'm, I'm happy that it is 50 arrows. Though, actually, it should be more. <laughs> well, no, no, never mind. You can get, depending on the size of the feather. As I, I actually have done fletching in the past. I used to shoot long bows. And I made my own arrows for the moes. And from one feather, you can usually get four fletchings out of, because you split the air, the feather down the middle, and that gets you two, the two halves. And then you can usually cut down, depending on how big the, uh, the feather is, you may be able to cut it into each half into two pieces and get four fletchings out of them. A lot of times, though, depending on the size, you only are going to get two, the two halves. But if we're making 50 arrows... You really need three fletchings on each. So really we should we should have more feathers than that for the recipe, but alright, cool. I'll roll with it. <laughs> uh one of the downsides of, you know, having a background in like history and archaeology, whenever you play a historic game, you sit there going, Well <laughs> I mean again, I'd still I'm still having a load of fun with this game, but still. Yeah, let's clear all these things and pop them into storage. Then, yeah, we'll run back to town and buy the scythe again. Oh, actually, I probably should let that grow. That would have been a nice little tree to have just for the aesthetics of things. Okay, yeah, let's pop our leather over here. This, yeah, there we go. We'll pop the rocks in there, the sticks in there. We're about through half the day. Let's go get the scythe and finish off the day harvesting our glorious barley. Ooh, is there anything I can grow this season too? I mean, I'm sure there is, but we'll probably look into that next episode. Yeah, yeah, I'll look into replanting next episode, since it doesn't seem to matter when in the season you plant, just that you plant it in that season. Which, from a gameplay perspective, does, does make sense to do it that way. Uh, but yeah, that's, so I'll have to look into what would be good ones for that. Hi, Unagast, I'm here to buy a scythe for 600 friggin' gold. Hi, I need this. Oh my god, all of my money. All of my money. Well, we still have 500, but still. Uh, we have a scythe now, though. Let's put that on four. Nice. There we go. Four. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> let's let's holster that. There we go. I didn't holster it. 
Oh, I did holster it. It's just, uh, yeah, it's still in a quick bar when we do that. Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's go reap some grain. Hmm. Oh, which I wonder, am I gonna have to thresh the grain too? Is that is that in this? We we I haven't done grains yet in the game. We've only har we've only uh, done carrots so far that were things we just literally rip out of the ground. Do we have to thresh the grain? Granted, that's actually something I'm not entirely sure on. Do you have to thresh wheat? I, I mean, uh, rye? I know you have to for wheat. But what about rye? I assume, considering it too is a grain. Yay! Pick up two rye. There we go. There we go. All right. So, yep, gotta go to each little plot. Pick it up. Oh, actually, it's more than just the squares. Okay, interesting. That's interesting. So yeah, we just seem to be picking up rye. Interesting. I would have thought we'd also get maybe... Maybe straw from this too, considering, you know... Stocks. I'm actually a little weirded out that we're not by that. That seems like something you should get from rye and wheat and things of that variety. Huh, is that, is that not a thing in this? It seems like it should be a thing. I also missed that one. Also, oh my god, it's a freaking iron scythe and we've already gone through that much of it. They really need to rebalance <laughs> the tool decay on this. Oh my god, it's an iron scythe! It's iron! <laughs> <laughs> Something like this, a tool like this, IRL, would last a farmer for years, decades even, if they take care of it properly. I mean, at most, you'd have to replace, like, the 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 handle on it every so often. But yeah, it doesn't look like, oh, wait, no, no. Yeah, it doesn't look like I got any more there I can pick up. No, that's probably plantain. My god, yeah, the... The tool decay is definitely my biggest complaint in this game. It's holy crap. Yeah, an iron scythe is something you would have for years. And that's not even a medieval thing. Even as, you know, recently as last like hundred years people were still used. Actually, there are still parts of the world people use scythes in today. One good metal one, that'll last you a lifetime. <laughs> make it more expensive and make it useful for the rest of your life. Frankly, that's what it should be. It's got a good range on it, though, at least. You get a lot of the stuff in one sweep. If you get the... Ha! How did that bit of rye survive that swing? <laughs> right as I say that it's got a pretty good swing on it. Yeah, I'm annoyed we're not getting straw. I mean, rye... Oh, okay, 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 there we are. Crafting straw and rye grain. All right, so we do have to thresh it, I assume, in the barn. So let's head in there. Where, ah, uh, well, no, that's a, that's the corn, the corn, corn. I never know how to pronounce that correctly. Ah, this on the floor, threshing. Oh my God, we do have to thresh. Oh, I like it. All right, all of it, boom. Oh, we're doing it with our scythe. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank god it's quick though. Thank god it's quick. I mean, we're still going through 131 here. This is going to take a while, but hopefully this is bumping up our farming skill, one would assume, considering it's all a part of farming. Oh no. Did I just see my scythe go down and because we're used we we have it in our hand while we're doing this? No, no, I think I, I think I was seeing things there. I think I was seeing things. It hasn't moved since. All right, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I was really going to be mad there for a moment. But yeah, things like, again, either they need to drastically rethink their uh, tool decay, which they should anyways, because a lot of the tools are just... I think someone in the comments said it best. If you sneeze on your tools, they lose durability, which is just so true. But maybe a repair mechanic, because that was what people did. I, I mean, even today, that's what people do, especially farmers. You don't want to keep buying new crap, you fix the old stuff. And especially in the medieval period, you you worked with what you had. You didn't let things go to waste. If you had a tool that was broken, you tried to fix it before trying to, you know, 
make it new. So maybe a repair mechanic on this? You know, replacing the handle or something like that? Because just having to go through, potentially, depending on your farm size, 600 gold worth of scythe every season. I mean, we went through a fourth. A fourth of our scythe on my two crappy little fields that I have. I can only imagine for someone with a larger thing. That's just insane. Yeah, that's that's real weird. That's real weird. They really need to rethink that. Again, it's early access, so hopefully they do. Hopefully they mess around with all that stuff. But from both a gameplay perspective as well as a historical perspective, it annoys me. <laughs> hey, we threshed it all. Nice. I'm actually really happy they have that, though. That was crafting. Seriously? That was crafting? That should not be crafting. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy I'm going to get the points, but that really should have been farming. That really should have been in farming. Are any of these? No, that's all like animal husbandry, milking things, and yeah, all that. That really should be durability loss on farming tools. We should probably take that next. But for now, for now, we need to level up our stuff. Oh, go oh, yeah, no, we got it in crafting, which is still stupid. <laughs> That's threshing. That is a part of farming. Why is that crafting? Also, how much of that do we have now? All right, so we got all equal parts of gr uh, rye grain and straw, which is cool. So the straw I'm going to put over here. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll do this first. We'll just put the straw over here, because I doubt the straw is going to be necessary for anything in there. There we go. That's all housing material. And I guess when we get animals, we'll probably need that for feed. I also want to check something in here real quick. Ah, yes, we should actually probably put on our normal clothing now. Let's... How do I... How do I take off clothes? Oh, I guess just, uh, yeah, unequip here. There we are. There we go. Take that off. Put those shoes back on. I mean, I don't really need to, but I don't want to get too hot. So I don't know if, if that's really a thing. But all right, all right. I want to look at this here, cooking-wise. So yeah, we can just make straight-up gruel from porridge. With the rye grain. Or porridge with the oat grain. Uh, we don't have the stuff, because I assume you need the tavern to make, like, the bread. We do have the tech to make the tavern. But, yeah, so I don't think I want to make grain yet. Let's, uh, make one of these, though, real quick. Because I do need to eat. See how much food it's going to give me. And, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, then we'll probably mass make a lot of it. <laughs> 20 is, isn't bad. Isn't bad. I mean, it's better than the two nutrition you get from one piece of meat. Just still crazy. So yeah, you know what? We'll make some of it. Oh, I keep I keep hitting F. We'll make like ten right now to store, and we'll keep the rest of the grain for the time being. Cause I do want to make that tavern, but man, I don't really want to do more building right now at the moment. So yeah, the rye grain that'll use up. Oh my god, almost half of my rye grain. Fifty rye grain to make that gruel. But hey, that's that's nice though. That'll be some easy food. And wasn't the stew only like 30 or something and required two ingredients? This one just needing the one's pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, that'll be good. We'll store these with the, the grain too. We'll store that as well. Honestly, considering we got the barn, I should probably put it in there maybe. Maybe? Maybe? I don't know. To use the tavern though, I assume we're going to have to use the quern, uh, the grinding stone, to mill it. The mill, actually, you know, I'll just go roll with that since I can never say quern correctly. I've heard it corn, I've heard it quern, I've heard it quern, I've heard it multiple ways, and I never know how to say it. I'm just gonna go with mill. So, yeah, with that, we can turn that into flour. Oh, eight per flour, interesting. But we can't really use the flour yet. Ooh, what can we make in here? Oh, yeah, the manure! We, oh, yeah, oh, hey, hey, it is just, oh, clay. Oh, I guess that makes sense. I guess that makes sense. I was saying last time that straw and mud is what they usually go with, but yeah, no, no, now that I'm thinking about that, yeah, clay, clay is more readily, but mud is done. Yeah, claw is more, uh, claw, clay is more sturdy. I don't know how to get clay, though. 
I don't know where you find clay. I'm glad we can make the, oh, rot. Oh, I hadn't even thought about that. Ah, yes, yeah, straw plus wheat grain to make the animal feed. All right, all right. Well, I am going to, because yeah, we can't actually eat the grain, so putting it into food storage seems crazy, so I'm just gonna pop it all into here. But yeah, it's not a nutrition thing. So yeah, let's pop all that into there. Yeah, I like that though, I like that. So we could let some things intentionally rot. Actually, might give that a try. Also, are either of these... That's spring. All right, well, we'll probably go buy some more onions then next uh, next episode to plant a uh, spring onion farm. That'll be good. Pop all those in there. We'll pop the... Yeah, I'll keep the gruels... Well, I'll put some of the gruels in there. I'll keep two on me for food's sake. You know what, actually, I'm gonna put all of them in there because we do have the stews I should have on me to use up those. And yeah, those are 35, so just 15 more for having meat and veg, which is pretty nice. I like that, I like that. I'm kind of intrigued to let some things intentionally rot, though, just to make some manure out of it. That's kind of cool, I like that. Huh. Take a couple of seasons, though, but I mean, hey, it's, it's you're composting. That's, that's what you're doing, you're composting stuff. I like that. I, I appreciate that. Is there actually a building we can make a composter in to, like, speed up the decay? Because otherwise, it'll take a couple of seasons to decay the things. All right. Oh, oh, hey. This one can be re... Nope, nope, never mind. Just couldn't see it with the grass. Dang, man. Dang. All right. Well, we got the bow. I can't make the... <laughs> can't make the arrows yet because we're still short on the freaking feathers. So I think I may end the episode here a bit early, but you know what? I think what I'll do is, yeah, I'll spend some more time grabbing a crap load of rocks and making a load of those so that I can sell all that. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll bring it back next episode when I will, well, we'll go and buy the onions together. And, nope, don't want the broadleaf plantain. And yeah, and we'll plant ourselves a nice little onion farm. I really wish I didn't have to go do these hunting things because that's honestly not what I care to do in this game. I'm liking the farming things and the crafting stuff. I don't really care to have to go out to hunting when I have the option of trapping. Let me go down the trapping path instead. But oh well, we seem to have to, so you know, for the sake of moving the quest along and I will look up the quest see what the rest of them are because honestly if it's not anything too important I don't know maybe we just ignore the quests <laughs> that might be a thing we do but yeah that's gonna be it for this one folks hopefully you all have enjoyed and you do come back for the next episode when we'll sell some rocks but until that time thank you for watching and as always have a good one